you will probably never be remarkable. You'll never be anything special, and in 200 years, your name will be uttered for the last time ever. I'm sorry to be dark, but this is most likely the case. And that's okay. Some people don't care for being remembered, and this thought doesn't cross their mind. They're just living a nice, quiet life. And good for them, because that's like me. I personally don't care for being remembered, so I don't think I'm trying to bring down anyone. But there is someone I want you to know the name of. His name is Sergei Kovalev. In 1933, he designed the first liquid-fueled rocket that was used by the Soviet Union. Then he was imprisoned, and he was sent to the Gulag, or the concentration camps that existed in the Soviet Union at the time. He was released, somehow. And he went on to create the first satellites in space, to get the first dog in space, to get the very first human ever, ever to leave the planet. Maybe the first ever in the entire universe to leave their planet. He died five years later from injuries that he had from his time in the concentration camps. He was imprisoned and he was beaten, he was destroyed, but he still came out of it and made rockets that would bring the first human ever into space. Have you been grossly mistreated in your life? Maybe you had a bad family life. Maybe you had anxiety or you were depressed or you were bullied and you never wanted any of these things and you never asked for any of these things. Has your past that you've been mistreated in affected your present now where you've created something that you're proud of but you've stopped? Has someone shut you down and you stopped? Have you been successfully making progress towards something and something in your mind told you that it was not possible? Don't you think Sergi had these ideas in his head? He was too old now. He was beaten up. He couldn't focus anymore. Just give up, old man. He would never be as good as he once was. You will never be as good as you once were. And what did he do when people told him this? He created satellites and brought the first human ever into space. So now I ask you, can you do something with your life? Not to go down in history, not to please anyone, but to do it for yourself. The internet is pretty cool, but it's created this very negative thing that if you were doing something, unless you're good at it, it doesn't matter. You don't see bad artists or bad musicians blowing up. You see the best of the best and the richest ones that got there by being unusually naturally talented or something at their craft. So why try anymore? It's all, you know, they only got there because they were dealt better cards than you. They're older, smarter, have more experience. They were born with their talent. You could never be like them, right? I want to tell you something. Van Gogh did never pick up a paintbrush until he was 28 years old. He never got any formal training either. Charles Darwin was told by his peers and his family that he was of below intellect. The guy that discovered evolution. Sergei Korolev was beaten and imprisoned in the Russian Gulag. There are billions of combinations of words, of colors, of musical notes that have yet to be created. And you want to tell me that you're too old, you're not smart enough, you're too anything to do it. I want you to remember something now and for the rest of your life. Every single person, name them, that you look up to, has struggled in their life. And not in a fun, oh, you can't succeed unless you struggle kind of way, but deep, painful, emotional struggles. The same struggles that you go through, they experience. The cool thing about you and me is that the people we looked up to went through the same struggles that we go through. Why are we here? What are we doing here? Why am I doing this? Every single deep emotional struggle that you go through, they have experienced and they have created something and gotten past that. And you can too. All of your people that you look up to, you love them. Everyone loves them, but they don't know shit. <laughs> just like I don't know shit, just like you don't know shit in the grand scheme of things. Man, fuck believing people were born with talent. People also told them it couldn't be done. Every single one of them has had people tell them that it cannot be done. That They, they should just give up. And what do they do? They did it. And they are just like you and me. Believing you can do something is 50% of the way of getting there. Next time someone tells you you can't do anything, in your brain, tell them to shut the fuck up. What, what do you know? Because what do they know? They don't know your belief systems. They don't know the way your brain works. They don't know the struggles you've been through. Only you do. Do you believe you can do something? You can. I'm not even trying to be this motivational speaker or anything. It's just we cannot give our energy to these people that are going to bring us down and tell us that things cannot be done. That is toxicity and we need to get that out of our life. It's not bringing us anything in return. It is a waste of time and our precious energy. And the next time someone wants to slap you in the face with reality, slap them in the face with your hand. I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't actually do that. But do not let them get to your head that you can't do something. 
Van Gogh did not pick up a paintbrush until he was 28 years old. How old are you? You're telling me you can't do something. What is your excuse? I'm gonna give you a few seconds to answer. What is your excuse on why you can't do something? Why you can't make something? Why you can't make something out of yourself? Now, if you're actually paying attention to this video and you want to get something out of it, create something. What is your excuse? Tell me, or don't tell me. What is your excuse? When your answer is there, laugh at it. Realize how big and strange and unusual the world is and all the combinations that have yet to be discovered. And realize that there is nothing stopping you from getting to what you want to achieve. Crazy things happen each and every day and there are so many things that have yet to be done and you can do, you can create something. And I want to see what you create because I love that shit. So do it. I believe in you. If no one's ever told you that they believe in you before, let me be the first one because I do believe in you. And I don't care if you succeed. I just want you to be happy with whatever it is you're doing because that's all that really matters. The success is not what matters, it's enjoying the journey. And then when you get the success, oh cool, I got the success. But it was the journey that mattered in the first place. Of sucking at something and then suddenly, a couple months later, hey, I made progress, I'm better than I was. That's all it's about. Escape the idea that success means fame and wealth. Enter the idea that success means doing something for yourself, changing people around you, and enjoying it while you do it. You really don't have to change anyone. That's okay. If you want to share it with the world, even better. What is your excuse? Coaching calls in the description. I can help you get to where you want to get to. We can work through our problems together. Let's do it.